I'm here in New York because I can't get a fair hearing in Illinois, in the uh, state senate in Illinois. They've decided with rules that are fixed, that don't allow me as a governor the right to be able to bring witnesses in to prove that I've done nothing wrong. I want to call witnesses like the President's Chief of Staff, Rahm Emanuel, who said recently at Face the Nation that his conversations with me were appropriate and there was nothing uh, inappropriate about what we talked about. I want to bring in the Congressman Jesse Jackson, Jr., U.S. Senators. I want to bring in Valerie Jarrett, a top staffer for President Obama, all of whom who uh, are part of this whole uh, story. They won't allow me to bring these witnesses in who will prove, help prove my innocence. They've decided to remove a governor elected twice by the people without giving that governor the most basic fundamental right that all of us as citizens are entitled to, the right to be able to confront witnesses, challenge false accusations, and prove that you didn't do wrong things that they said you did. And so they've trumped this all up because they've already made a decision and it's based on politics and it, unfortunately a desire on the part of the legislature to raise taxes in Illinois because I have fought for people and have prevented tax increases because I found ways to give all of our kids health care, all of our senior citizens free public transportation, because I found ways around the legislature to give all 261,000 uninsured women in Illinois access to breast and cervical cancer screenings, mammograms and pap smears that will save their lives. And so they're trumping up some of these rules which prevent me as a governor from being able to simply bring witnesses in to show I didn't do what they said. I can't get a fair hearing there. So I want the American people to know what's happening in Illinois. I know the fix is in and I'll soon join, unfortunately, the legions of others who are losing their jobs in our country. But they should know that this is a very scary precedent that they're sending in Illinois. And if they can do this to me in Illinois, they can do this to other governors in other states uh, because they will set a dangerous precedent on how these impeachment processes work. And what governor will have the courage as I have to take on a legislative process to protect the people, to provide a voice for those without a voice and protect the middle class from higher taxes when these lawmakers can throw you out of office without giving you the basic right to bring witnesses in to show that you're innocent. If you can answer over here. The answer is this. Because, 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 oh, which one? Yeah. Right hey, 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 hey. Well, come on, be careful. You're high. She's up there. You all right? I'm holding you. Well, this one? Uh, well, the one that comes. Oh, okay. So what's your question? You're not going to mount a defense. Why not? Well, I'd like to mount a defense. And I'm imploring those senators in Illinois to give me a chance to bring my witnesses in. Because I'd like to have a chance to prove my innocence with the witnesses I'd like to call. But if they're not going to do it, if it's a kangaroo court and a phony process designed to thwart the will of the people and throw out a governor elected twice by the people without giving that governor a chance to call witnesses, then I'm not going to violate my constitutional oath of office. I swore on the Holy Bible that I would support the Constitution of the United States and the state of Illinois to participate in an unconstitutional process that denies fundamental due process and is a violation of the Sixth Amendment right to bring witnesses in to confront your accusers is to violate my constitutional oath of office. That's what they're doing. I can't participate in that. And I would rather let them throw me out on principle than allow them to get away with some phony process that is undermining the will of the people. Give me a chance to call witnesses, and I'll show I did nothing wrong.